to all the distinguished members of the platform, to all the distinguished brothers and sisters of the SEC. I'm going to read it very quickly. I want to thank Randy for giving me just a few moments. First thing I want to say is thank God for North Carolina. I'm glad you're back home. Yeah. I want to tell you that uh, Randy and I were in Newburgh the night before last where we had a preparatory celebration of the March on Washington. And just next week, hundreds of thousands of people will be going back to Washington to commemorate what happened 50 years ago. 1963, after the youth of the Reverend Dr. Martin King Jr. here in North Carolina for the Southern Christian Youth Ship Conference. And as we prepared to board buses, uh, go to the march in Washington, go to the friends, go to the fish, the past time, just want to call their names. It was at the NAACP, SELC, Congress of Richmond Club, Stephen Nowdock, the Oregon Committee, the Democratic Party. We all worked together. As I stand here now, 50 years later, I look out at the diversity of this audience. I look out at the diversity of the state executive committee of the Democratic Party. I believe we've come a long way. But it was, I would be remiss if I stood before you and did not first pay tribute to a person that I believe was the best governor that North Carolina has ever had, and that's the Honorable W. Purdue. Years. Some of you know, uh, I'm not only a native of North Carolina, Chase Fan has been in Randall County for over 300 years. But for 40 years, I was a member of the Wilmington Tent. And last December 31st, on the eve of the 150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation, Dr. Pepper Purdue lifted her pen and gave the women to ten members all parties of innocence. What a historic way to end up 2012. But now we're in 2013. And as you look at Raleigh, our beloved capital, I first want to say, Lord have mercy. <laughs> One of the reasons why I'm moving back to North Carolina is because I'm going to work with you yeah. in your county. In your county organizations, in your precinct organizations. I don't want to waste too much time pointing at what the Republicans have done. I would rather spend more time talking about what the Democrats are going to do. Yeah. What are we going to do? In terms of mobilizing, organizing, one of the things I learned in the Wilmington 10 case for 40 years, no matter what happens, don't let anything or anyone break your spirit. And I want to say to the Democrats, I have to take my seat, I promise you I'm not going to be wrong. But I, I don't want, I, I know that what has happened in Raleigh is devastating. But I believe that God Almighty, no matter what your faith may be, I believe we have a responsibility to respond in a way. Instead of there being voter suppression, we need to have the largest voter turnout in North Carolina history. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm proud you. I'm very grateful for to give the open prayer. But I believe that the Lord wants us to participate in how the prayer is answered. <laughs> and so I'm very serious. Our state is more diverse than it ever has been, and therefore the Democratic Party has to be more diverse. My only caution this morning to you and to us, and talk to myself, 
Beware of division. Beware of disunity. Lord knows, if there's ever a time we need unity in the Democratic Party, in North Carolina, it's now. It's now. It's now. It's now. It's now. It's now. The secretary was at the March on Washington. 50 years ago. And there have been others in this room who went who helped others to go. And Randy and I were driving from Newburgh up there last night. I said, look, man, you're a good driver, good driver, ain't you? I know you're heading up the Democratic Party. But I'm concerned that sometimes we allow the little things to divide us. That's right. That's right. And I want you to get ready to debate the amendments and all that stuff. That's great, but look, at the end of this day, we better walk out here together. We better walk